King Leopold's Congo, Imani's Tale. Imani was 12 years old when her village in the Congo River Basin in Africa was taken over by white Europeans under the reign of King Leopold II. Imani was 12 years old. King Leopold II was the King of Belgium, who took interest in the profitable resources of the Congo, rubber being the most important, and claimed the region his, renaming it the Congo Free State. Imani and her family stood among the crowd of villagers as they watched a group of white men appear from a dense area of trees, rapidly approaching the vi village entrance where the crowd stood. Guns were slung over the men's shoulders, some carrying machetes and small knives. The soldiers brandished their guns in the air to warn people and announced that they were now in charge. Everyone was expected to start working under their orders to harvest things like rubber. During the first week of the village's enslavement on day four, Mani watched as her father was sent out with others on a far journey to collect rubber from along the river a brutal trip from which he would never return. A missionary arrived. A missionary are people sent, missionaries are people sent on behalf of an organization to promote their religion, oftentimes Christianity. The men looked around the area, communicating with villagers and soldiers, taking stock of the conditions. Imani was not afraid of them like she was with the soldiers, and saw how concerned they were upon seeing stacks of bodies and abused villagers. Many years Later, often, as missionaries would come more and more to the Congo, many would start to voice their concerns back home about the cruelty of Leopold's regime. A regime is a form of government, oftentimes authoritarian. Many times that week and the weeks following, Late at night, Imani would lay looking at the stars and squeeze tight her eyes to picture her life as it was before colonization. The act or process of settling among and establishing control over the indigenous people of an area. <laughs> 